Today, I'm going to be doing a how to heal guide for beginners for the Russell Drew. I may be going over healing talents, healing cooldowns, healing moves, and how do you heal with this healer effectively. Before I get into the video, hey guys, what's up? It's Matt here. If you're into the challenge, go ahead and match rate. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a beginner's guide for the Russell Drew. So if before I get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe, which comment down below, and let's go. So let's break down his healing moves. The first one I want to talk about is Adaptive Swarm. If you are a wrestler druid, I would heavily recommend that you run Necrolord. One, you have this massive big ass flesh clap shield, and as well, you get Adaptive Swarm. What Adaptive Swarm is, is it's a hot where it can either heal or it's, it's a dotted heal. It can heal or it can do damage, depending if you have it on an ally or you have it on an enemy. And when you have it on an ally, it empowers the, your hots or heals on them by a certain percentage. For me, that's 33%. And this is also a very smart heal where it will actually jump. It has three charges when you put it on someone. And it will jump from target to target, so you don't really have to worry about it. So you can have multiple adaptive swarms going off at once because it realistically lasts for a very long time a rejuvenation this is your basic hot it pretty much does a heal over time over 15 seconds you have regrowth which is another this is one of your very few casted hots it's a very big hot it will heal a lot over time it has an initial heal then after it has a, a hot that goes off for a certain percentage over time the druids heals are only effective when you have all his hot also, if you have regrowth on a target already, the initial heal is a 40% chance to crit. This is very powerful and you can use this in many ways to chain really big heals together. Next, you have Swiftman. So the way Swiftman works is that it consumes a regrowth, a wild growth, or a rejuvenation. I actually fell. Essentially, what this does is that when you consume this, it's going to consume it and it's going to give you a massive heal. A very very big heal so this is very powerful getting that big instant cast heal if your teammates are low or needs to get healed for a certain percentage yes scenario more this is a talent that i'll explain later but essentially it's a very smart heal it's a very cool animation with butterflies and stuff i really do like the animation it usually has a barrier around as well what this does is that when you have scenario water on a target and they get hit they're going to be healed for a certain percentage for a certain amount over eight seconds. So this is a very smart heal. You can use this in two ways. You can either use it preemptively and have it on a target when it's off cooldown for yourself, or you can use this when your teammate starts to take damage. You have Life Bloom. This is another hot, very similar to Rejuvenation, where you can put it on a target, it's gonna heal for a certain percentage. It does have some type of dispel protection, and it only can be on one target at a time. That's this is your only hot that can only be on one target specifically at a time. What this does is that it has dispel protection. So if it does get dispelled, it will instantly heal for a certain percentage. And you have Wild Growth. This is usually a cast. It's a big AoE hot that you would use in raid situations. But you can honor talent to make it very effective in PvP situations as well. Also have Nature Swiftness. What this does is that it makes your next regrowth, rebirth, and tangling roots instant and, and free of any type of cost. And it heals for 100% additional more. This is very powerful for getting really big heals off and getting instant cast spells off. I would use this move... If I were to get like a big regrowth off for instant, because in situations you got to use this when, especially in the burst meta, your teammates can go up and down in health very fast. So having something to get them up like this is very good. And the Jude has that in the form of Swift Man and also Nature Swiftness. Your defenses. This is one of one of your major cooldowns, but it's not even that big of a cooldown. You have Iron Bark. What Iron Bark does is that it's a damage mitigation. It re you can put this on yourself or your teammate and it reduces damage taken by 20%. It increases healing of overtime effects on that target by 20%. So very, very strong. You want to use this situation. You want to empower your heals on a target if they are taking a lot of damage and reduce damage as well. Bar skin is your own cooldown for yourself. Your skin becomes hard and you re reduce damage you take by 20%. And also, your spells can't be delayed by damage. And this lasts for 12 seconds. This can be used while under stun, any type of CC pretty much. Stun, frozen, in cap, fear, whatever it may be. So this is very powerful. If you want to use this cooldown early, bars, any type of damage mitigation cooldowns you want to use early. If you use them too late, you're not going to get the full benefit. For instance, is it Iron Bark or Bar Skin at 80% is so much more effective than using it at like 20. You're going to get so much more out of that mitigation. So those are his main hook. You'll say that's Tranquility. This is not a move you use very often. It's like a big raid heal. That's going to heal for a decent amount. Nothing crazy, 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 but it is a decent heal you can use. Now let's go to the talents. 
Scenarium Ward. I talked about this earlier, but this is a PvP talent that you do want to take. For the 40 tier, I'm only going to be going over healing talents. Soul of the Force is one of your most powerful talents in the game if you use it correctly. You have to use this move correctly, otherwise you're going to get the full benefit out of it. So, when you use Swift Men, when I use Swift Men, it's going to give me Soul of the Force. This increases the healing of my next regrowth, rejuvenation, or wild. It increases my healing of my next regrowth, rejuvenation by 200%, and my next wild growth by 75%. This is very key. The reason why this is key, that 200% is very, very essential. When you use Swift Men, you get Soul of Force. It increases your heal of your next regrowth or reduces by 200%. When you stack that with Nature Swiftness, it increases the next heal of your regrowth by 300%. So you're going to get a big heal. I literally healed for 27k there. Let me see. It healed for 26k. That's how you get those big heals off as a druid. Combining all this together, nature swiftness, the increased critical strike chance of regrowth, and soul of force will get you a massive heal, which a lot of druids use to get their teammates back from like very low percentage to full health very, very quickly. Next, you have overgrowth. This pretty much is a move that wraps all your hots into one ability so you can put all your hots on a target with one button on a minute cooldown. this is effective for reapplying hots or putting hots on another target very very quickly versus like spamming them all out which is going to waste a lot of mana and you have germination what this does is that you could apply rejuvenation twice on a target and you're going to get another version of rejuvenation this is just going to add more hots on your target and increase your healing throughput overall now if we look at honor talents you have focus growth you have a few options. I'm only going to be going over the healing honor talents, but focus growth is what you want to run. What this does is essentially you can, it reduces the mana cost of your life bloom by 8%. And also you can apply life bloom to a target three times. And this increases the healing of life bloom by 8% up to 24%. So you wanna put this on the target, on when you're in arena or any type of PvP position, the target that's taking the most damage, you wanna have three stacks of life boom at them at a time. This is gonna increase the healing of life boom on 24%. Just increase your healing throughput over time, which is very essential. A 24% increased heal is gonna be massive. Then you have early spring. This makes your wild growth instacast. And when you use wild growth, you get full bloom. Full bloom it makes your next wild growth healing increase by 100%, and it's an AOE move. So when I use wild growth, I'm gonna get full bloom, and my next my next wild growth is gonna increase its heals by 100%. And boom, and now the healing's increased by an immense amount. So you want to use you want to be spamming that pretty much all the time in arena games. And your other one that you could run is reactive resin. What this does is that. Casting Rejuvenation gives you two charges of Reactive Resin. What Reactive Resin does is that when your target takes a melee critical hit, they're going to be healed for a certain percentage. And it also increases the duration of Rejuvenation by a certain percentage when they do get a critical hit with Reactive Resin on. This is a good R time to take against melees. And the, the meta is a bunch of melee, so this would be effective. You could run this instead of Early Spring, potentially. Now let's talk about how do you heal overall with the Druid. The main thing you want to do is keep all your heals up at the time. So rejuvenation, adapt to swarm, regrowth. You want to stack life room three times. You want to keep. You want to keep wild growth on, and you want to keep steering ward up. You want to keep pretty much all your hots up at the same time and constantly refresh them to get the most out of your heals. Because if you just having the power of the druid is having all his hots on a target, and also if your if your teammate gets low, you can use. Swift man to get a big heal off or you could use a nature swiftness Regrowth to get another big heals off those are pretty much that's pretty much how you heal the druid It's very simplistic. The hardest part is pretty much chaining for those big instant cast heals But that's my how to heal guide. Hope you guys do enjoy the video Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out